What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. We got Abby over here looking at resume stuff. Yep. Yep. And Ryan, of course. <laughs> so today is Monday and we have finalized a few more deals. Um, we have a Switch bundle coming. Uh, we just, just paid for it this morning. So it's, it's got to be shipped and I'm not sure exactly when it'll be here, but we are expecting a ton of packages today. We've gotten one so far, which is this giant chewy box here. I feel like we get chewy boxes all the time, <laughs> yeah. but that one just came in this morning. FedEx dropped that off. So we still potentially have stuff coming from UPS and USPS. And also we need to go and get the, the new lease notarized and dropped off today. So I'm going to be doing that, which There's I'm excited. That we have to talk about. What? What's happening on Monday? What's happening on Monday? Or Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday. Okay. Maybe so, I explain it. Abby will explain it here in just a bit. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan's mm -hmm. like, um, <laughs> so this is something we don't typically really discuss because it's just not something that's relevant to the vlogs, but, um, Hope has gotten very aggressive. Our dog. Our dog, Hope, has gotten very aggressive towards the cats and... It's should be cut. She's also started to get aggressive with Homer um, to the point where she's like going after him. Um, and because I am a firm believer in like not just getting rid of a dog because of issues, we have tried to make it work over the last six months and it's gotten worse and worse. So like we'll, I, like we will, we have the dogs in the bedroom with us at night and we have one of those baby gates in the door so the cats can come in and out. And, and if the cats are on the outside in the hallway, Hope tries to attack them. Hope will, like we will wake up in the middle of the night because Hope is, is barking like there's a burglar in the house or something. Yeah. And she's barking at the cats. And she's like trying to get at them and she has physically attacked Arya. Yeah, um, she doesn't really mess with Zelda because Zelda like runs away, but Zelda Arya's away. not afraid of dogs. Yeah. Because she grew up with Homer, so. Yeah. So, yeah, um, it's become a problem. The biggest issue is that she's become aggressive with Homer and she is when we are not home, they're in the bedroom together. And, um, Homer is become afraid of going into the bedroom with her. Um, and that just indicates to me that she has been aggressive when we're not home as well. Um, so I talked to my parents who absolutely love my dogs and they, uh, their last dog passed away. Um, and so they, they really want a dog again. And so they are going to take Hope in and UPS she's going to be staying with my parents now. And they can focus on her being the only dog in the house and love on her and give her all the attention she needs. So, and also we should mention that Brian's going to meet UPS. They just pulled up, but we should also mention that like Ho Hope has sense. already lived with your parents before. Yeah, Homer and Hope stayed with my parents when we were downstairs and we didn't have enough room for them. But also when we lived in Kelso, we didn't have the dogs for the majority of the time. Yeah. We, did we did have Homer by himself for quite some time. That's why Arya grew up with him. But, yeah. but you know, Hope stayed at your parents' house and eventually they both went back to your parents' yeah. house. So. And that was just because we were taking so many trips and we felt bad about the back and forth. Yeah, so it's but... not like we're just completely doing something new. Like, yeah. Hope has been with your parents since she was a puppy. Yeah, and we... She is old. I think she's like 10 or 11 and she's getting really grouchy and stuff. And it, like... It sucks because I know people are gonna be like, oh my god, they're just like rehoming yeah, the dogs. Yeah, that's, that's not the like, case. They're, they're not trying, but like she has physically attacked Arya. And she's and staying it's in the scary. family. And she's staying in the family. Yeah, we stopped filming because the UPS guy was <laughs> was walking in. But um, just to finish up, Hope is we love her. Like yeah, obviously we love her, and we've tried to do what we can to kind of minimize like anything that would cause aggression. Like Homer and Hope do not eat next to each other. When they get fed, Hope is on one side of the couch, Homer's on the other side of the room, separated by the couch and the chairs. The cats have their food completely separate where the dogs can't even get to it. And like- And it's not like she's like getting aggressive, like necessarily over treats. Like she's just randomly going after Homer. Yeah, just like cats. Homer will, she'll be laying down somewhere and Homer will walk up and like- Go to like nudge her. He'll go to like lick her face or something and she'll like growl and snap at him. And that and didn't used like to a happen. It's simple thing. It's not just like, oh, let me look, growl a little bit and snap. Like, she full on will, like, sometimes pin him to the ground and it gets scary. Yeah, she, like, lunges 
and does everything like and this didn't used to happen like this this has only started happening within the last in the past like eight months maybe eight months yeah like before that didn't happen so like you know it's a hard decision if, to make but we're not like gonna put her down we're not gonna give her to somebody who doesn't know her but my parents really love hope yeah they're, i mean to, like take care of her and everything like for the amount of time that i have known you and like we've had the dogs and everything hope has spent more time with your parents than us yeah she spent more time living with your parents than living with us and so it's not like we say that she's our dog but i kind of feel like she's more your parents dog anyway yeah just because of all the time that she spent with I them like, i feel that like i i tried really hard to like make hope like work and everything i mean you've listened to me like talk to my mom countless t- number of times on yeah the phone and like be like well no we're gonna try this and then it doesn't work and i'm like crying about it and stuff yeah it's not like an easy decision but in order to keep the other animals safe we have to do it and hope is going to be better being the only animal yeah because your parents have the donkeys but they don't have i mean they have azula they have the other cat but she never went after azula yeah because azula is kind of like zelda she just kind of like does her own thing and stays away from the dogs so they don't have any other dogs or anything so it's not going to be a problem hope will be happy and then the other animals will be safe obviously abby's parents will be happy because you know they love they love the dogs just as much as we do yeah they were actually they didn't want to they didn't want to leave homer and hope in the first place so yeah but yeah i think the only reason that they did leave the dogs with us when they moved is because they're moving to a smaller spot yeah they didn't have the room they have room for the donkeys obviously but that's you know they got extremely lucky but they don't they didn't have room to take two dogs two large dogs two large dogs and all this stuff so having one should be good and it sucks but hopefully you guys understand we did what we could but like we said she it's not like she's going to she's not like being put up for adoption to go to some stranger she's going to abby's parents which have already had her for the past couple years the past what like 10 years well i mean you got got her when she was a puppy yeah and the only time she wasn't with your parents has been the past few months when they moved out yeah (laughs) and then she stayed with us in kelso for like a month but other than that she's always lived with abby's parents yeah so we're gonna miss her obviously and we're still gonna see her yeah but she's just not gonna she's just not gonna be staying with us yeah her parents are gonna be moving closer to us um once again so we'll still see her and everything so right now i'm in the elevator going up to the fifth floor of this building to sign the new lease. I was supposed to sign it, get it notarized, and then drop it off, but it's just easier to sign it here, have them notarize it. So that's what we're doing. When I left, Abby was working on like three different trades. It was not a good time for me to leave, but I had to, so we're gonna have tons of stuff to show you guys today. All right, guys, so we got it signed. Uh, Tomorrow, they're going to send me an email Um, with the total, I have to pay an extra security deposit. That's part of the terms. Um, Luckily, it's not too much, but I'll be doing that tomorrow. And then they're gonna be starting on demolition, hopefully pretty soon. And I'm gonna be in contact with the maintenance guys, the guys that are doing the work. I'm gonna be mostly in contact with them, not the property manager throughout the process. So we should have some more information pretty soon. I'm excited. Has it been busy today? Oh my God, it's been so bad. (laughs) <laughs> it's been real busy. We had five different trade-ins going on all at the same time. Yeah. And we have a bunch three, of packages to open. Three of them were dropped off, and I, like, called them. Are they done now? They are done. I have one more to print, but the I thing is... Oh, yeah, he's got those. We have somebody who did a trade-in, and they ended up having to, like, go to work or something, and they can't come in until Thursday to pick up their money, so... <laughs> Um, Sucks and for we've them. gotten like <laughs> like six or seven resumes today. Dang, Abby's gonna be doing a lot of interviews. Uh, no, that's a joint effort. <clears throat> no, I mean if you want me to pick the person, I'll pick them. I put Abby in charge of doing this. Okay, you don't have to show up for the interviews then. I only want to come for the interviews that I think are good fits. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I already went through all the resumes already, and we did the piles, and we went through everybody, so. Have you called everybody? I have set up four interviews for Wednesday. Okay. I'm not trying to, like, book it out, 
what what I'm basically doing is there there are we're gonna interview everybody. Yeah. But the people. You who, better, because I hear you telling everyone that that drops off a resume. <laughs> yeah. Unless the only way we're not gonna interview if, if everybody is if we find the perfect people, and we're just like like we for sure like this person and everything and that would take like a lot to, for that to happen it would basically have to be a second Ryan it would have to be like a second <laughs> Ryan but I have set up multiple people for Wednesday and these are people that I really like their resume and everything like I'm not saying everybody who's on who's on Wednesday is like who I'm going to pick but those were like some good choices some solid choices um, there were like a few people who aren't gonna really do an interview with us because they don't have what we need. Like no skin, no, none of the skills that we listed out and no experience and that kind of stuff, which is unfortunate. But I had one person drop off a resume and they're like, I know you're not going to hire me, but here's my resume. And I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> and they're like, you don't, you don't even have to do an interview. I'm like, you're, you're really talking yourself down right now. Like, are you like, I was like, do you just want your resume back? Like, I didn't say that, but they're like, they're like, I don't think I'd be a good fit. And like, here's my resume. And I'm like, <laughs> that's not how you get a job. I'm like, no one's going to hire you if you do that. <laughs> You're probably not going to hire me. I don't think I'm a good fit, but here's my resume. You don't have to do an interview, but whatever. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. And I was just like, and it was so busy when that happened. And like another person was standing there when they like pushed it on the counter and they were just like, what just happened and i'm like i really i have no idea and they're like they're like that was that was bad and i'm like it was really bad <laughs> i'm sorry if you watch the videos but yeah like yeah, it's done not the best way to get a job yeah but. you should probably work on that <laughs> but we've had so many trade-ins it's like kind of crazy yeah. yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to go through all of them now because we're probably going to get interrupted by customers, but... Or phone calls. Yeah, lots of phone calls. But there is a lot of stuff. Here's a sneak peek. Well, bam. Tub down there. Oh, yeah, that tub, too. There's another box in the back that I saw. Yeah. And there's some stuff over there. There's some stuff back there. And then we have a bunch of packages to open. Yeah. Including one from Hypercan. Oh, we got one from Hypercan. Mm-hmm. That means the HDMI. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just haven't opened it yet. <laughs> you can come in today. We That's what the person on the phone is looking for. I guess I should probably go open that. Probably a good idea. All right, so before we show you guys the trades, we are, we are closed now. Yep. Uh, I'm going to have Ryan open this box. And this yeah. is something that we purchased from someone. Uh, got shipped in, obviously. And I had them put attention Ryan on the package because I wanted him to be the one to open it. Mm. Is there going to be Master System games in here? I don't know. <gasps> Maybe. There might be. Oh, my God. Oh, I already see what I need. <laughs> <laughs> Good, because it's not the one that I want. I'm going to show that one. Okay. So there's one game in here that I am keeping for my collection, and there's a console in here that I'm keeping. Okay. I don't have a Master System yet. <laughs> oh. So I'll let you guys know which ones I need when I come across them. I'm not going to tell you every single one. Oh, I already got this. I already got this. So I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know which ones I don't have. All right. Got Ghost House. Feels complete. Do you want me to show? No, I'm, I'm pretty okay. sure that the majority of them are complete, if not all of them. Got Teddy Boy. That's a cool one. I'm pretty sure I got that one at a PRGE when I went. Oh, wait, no. There was one there, but it didn't have the manual, so I didn't get it. That's right. Got Transbot. This is one I need. So I'm just going to put that right Put there. that in a separate stack. <laughs> Got Choplifter. All right. Cool. cool. The Ninja. It's a pretty cool. That's actually one of my childhood favorites. It's a good one. Outrun. Cool. Cool. Very cool. Got Perler Games. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool. This one I really like. Wonder Boy Monster Land, but uh, I already got it. So <laughs> don't need it. I thought you but said I, you weren't going to tell us. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's, I don't want them to think I need it when I say I love it. <laughs> Wonder Boy 3, Dragon's Trap. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. 
Ooh, another one double boy. I'm pretty sure I got this one too. <laughs> pretty sure. We, I got that one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I got that one. Shinobi. That one's cool. That one's cool. Yeah, I got a lot of these. Zaxxon 3D and Alex Kid in High Tech World. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have this one, but it's Fantasy Star. That one's cool. One of the more it's expensive really nice. ones. Very clean. I do think that the one game that I want, you probably need. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but it's one that I passed on, like, I don't know, four or five years ago, oh. and I've never seen another one. <laughs> that means I'm never going to see one. <laughs> Got Aztec Adventure. Wait. No. I might already have this one. Yeah, you do. I thought I... I was thinking of uh, Montezuma's Revenge. That's the one oh. I was thinking of. That's the one I need. Hopefully it's in here. There's still a lot more to go. Ryan said he was going to show Aztec Adventure last. <laughs> a little out from the top. But yeah, okay. this one, I guess, was the last one on top. Shooting Gallery. Pretty pretty lame. But what a... <laughs> you love it. Yeah, I love all these. Ooh, pretty rough afterburner. It's sun faded and the plastic's all breaking. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> Marksman Shooting and Trap Shooting. jealous <laughs> I, I know you're keeping that one got california games got monopoly got action fighter little sticker residue on the back that's okay got alex kid in miracle world got alex kid the lost stars are you gonna have all four in here <laughs> That's the one, Ryan. That's the one? Oh, no! Hold on, hold on, hold on. God damn it! <laughs> I'm just going to show you guys. It's Alf. <laughs> I need it. You never see them complete on eBay. You can find them on eBay, just not complete. Stupid. That's the one that I passed on. There was a store in Eugene called Big City Game, and it's not even there anymore. Or they turned into, like, a barcade, yeah. but they had one, and I passed on it. It was, like, $60. <laughs> And I, I regretted it. Uh, I don't blame you. Got rescue mission. But yeah. now that that one's out of the way, anything else you see, you get first dibs. All right. Because <laughs> you already see the console, and then you already see the ALF game. Okay, well, I got the one game I need so far off to the side. <laughs> got R-Type. Fantasy Zone, the maze. Got great basketball. These are all in really good condition. They, like, all have their tabs. It's awesome. Great ho ice hockey. Walter Payton football. I know you need that one. Uh, no, actually, I bought one from you already. Oh. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> yeah, I did actually buy that one from you. <laughs> Altered Beast. Oh, man. This is getting kind of crazy. Got Zillion. And a Zillion, too. Let's move Ooh. it this way so you can have more room. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> one of my good one. Uh, got it. Ooh, that's cool. Global <laughs> defense, but it still has some of the plastic on it. That's really cool. So it's still it's sealed. Still sealed. Dang. I that's feel like awesome. it would be nearly impossible to find good Master System games that are sealed because the hang tab just pushes through. Yeah. But I mean, this has clearly never been opened. Yeah, that's awesome. Got Space Harrier, one of my favorite games. This one's really. And I guess there's a little bit of standing, but it's pretty. I like this. Hit. Ooh, another one of my childhood favorites. Penguin Land. Ooh, and another one of my childhood favorites. <laughs> Cloud Master. Such good games. Oh, man. Ooh, another one of my childhood favorites. <laughs> Rambo. <laughs> so good. Poseidon. And Double Dragon. And yes, I do have all of those. Just want to make sure you guys know. <laughs> Got another global defense. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? I always like this one because it has the the white cartridge label. Ooh. Ooh. Thought that was cool. Brian knows. Yeah, he knows. Got wanted. That was pretty cool. Got Captain Silver. I got that one recently, actually. <laughs> 
I hope you need more of these other ones. I'm kind of hoping that like <laughs> there'd be a bunch in here for you. I have a lot of games. <laughs> got Psycho Fox. That's another one I just got. Spellcaster. Pretty sure I have that one. I'm just gonna put it off to the side to make sure. Time Soldiers. That one's really nice. That one's really clean. I'm gonna check that one out just to make sure. I think I have it, but I'm just gonna double check. Can't remember everything. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Reggie Jackson baseball. Great football. I'm sorry, man. I don't need that many. <laughs> great baseball. At least we got one so far. <laughs> yeah, great foot or great golf. Sorry. <laughs> hang on, Safari. Or hang on and Safari Hunt. Sorry. Got Rocky. Great golf again. Ooh, nice. Paper Boy. Ooh. Another one of my childhood favorites, Enduro Racer. It's better than Excite Bike. Uh, but Excite Bike's still good. Excite Bike's really good. But I, don't know I really like that. Enduro Racer. <laughs> it's like it has the 3D effect to it. Like you're going. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Alien Syndrome. Can you build your own tracks? Um I don't think so, but I never Lame. did that anyways. Thunder Blade. That's the best part of Excite Bike. Is it? <laughs> Making crazy levels. I mean I did it, but I never like cared for it because it wasn't that cool. I don't know. Gangster Town and Shanghai. That's it. Oh wait, there's one more. It's not but a game it's not though. A game. All right. You guys ready for this? Master System Two. <laughs> That's amazing. I am very jealous of this. This is very cool. I like it's got it. a rip on the front, but that's okay. But yeah, like now we actually amazing. now I actually have a master system, <laughs> yeah, whenever, so we can play our games. Yeah, whenever you update, you know, this box, I can buy this one off you. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of feel bad that like out of the two games, I <laughs> I had like pre called one of them. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> maybe you, maybe you need these ones though. I might. I might. I have to look at my list. All right, let's check. But, yeah. All right, guys, so now that Ryan opened up that Master System package, we do have one more box to open, which we're going to do after I show you guys all the trades from today. There's a ton. Let's take a look. First up here, we have some Game Boy games. Nothing too crazy. Nintendo Dogs there for DS. Mario Kart Super Circuit, that's probably the best one. And Tetris DX with a poor label. And then we have all this stuff. There might have been some other consoles or whatever. We're not showing those because who cares? So first up. We have to be kind of quick. We'll explain later. So, we have some Blu-ray here. And then a bunch of DVDs. Apparently this one's kind of rare. $40. So... And that's the cheapest you're going to find it anywhere. Just saying. Yeah. Like, cheapest right now on eBay is like 50 bucks, But they currently sell for 40 So, some random stuff. Some anime. Some horror. Some good stuff in here. Some more Dragon Ball. All right, so there's those. And then for PSP, we have Call of Duty Roads to Victory, Lumens, and Fantasy Star Portable, which has like an old sticker on there that used to come off. And then for GameCube, we have Backyard Football and Mario Kart Double Dash. For 3DS, we have Animal Crossing New Leaf. And then for original DS, we have Phantom Hourglass and Tetris Party Deluxe. We have a, is this complete, the what? Dragon Quest? Yes. Dragon Quest VI Complete on Super Famicom. For PS2, Unlimited Saga, Star Ocean Till the End of Time. I do not think that the Star Ocean is the correct price. It's gone down in price a lot. <clears throat> we used to have well, we need to, $15.99. We'll double check. Okay. Star Wars Episode Three, ESPN NFL 2K5, Dr. Muto, Second Sight, another ESPN NFL 2K5. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z Budokai, Grand Theft Auto 3, and ATV Off-Road Fury 4. Then we have a boxed uh, pink DS Lite. This has the console, the cardboard insert, and the box, but no paperwork. And we got four Game Boy Advances, two, two white ones and two purple ones. That's really awesome because we need them. Some Atari games, which I'm not going to go through individually, but there you go. And then for Switch, we have Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity, Dragon Quest XI, Animal Crossing New Horizons, and Nintendo Labo Toy-Con. This obviously is just the game. There's no 
no cardboard stuff with it. For PS3, Skyrim, Fallout 3, Call of Duty 3. Um, what is this? Hmm. Is this actually signed by someone? I don't know who it's signed by. It's signed by someone who is number eight. And there's also like a piece of plastic underneath the thing. <laughs> Here, look. <laughs> there's like a piece of plastic in there. Oh, it's probably from like another case. Oh no, it's from the internal. Oh, stuff. is that signature on the artwork or on the case? It's on the case. That's dumb. Because <laughs> the case is broken. Okay, it was a kid who traded this in. Don't judge. It, no, it's dumb that the artwork, that the signature is on the on the case yeah, he, and not on the actual artwork. He, the it's still cool though. So if you buy that game, if we only have one in stock, you'll get that autographed one. <laughs> if we have multiple, you're getting a random one. NBA Live 08, Kane Lynch Dead Men, FIFA Soccer 12, Virtual Fighter 5, NCAA 10, NBA 2K13, Need for Speed Pro Street, Sonic and Sega All Star Racing, and Madden NFL 17. That's a thirty dollar game. I know. For Madden? Well, it's because the PS4 was released in like. 2015? Oh, that's crazy, though. So, it's like, it's one of the later ones. It's weird. 4N64, we have some Japanese games. Po uh, Pocket Monster Stadium, Gold and Silver. Pokemon Stadium 1. Super Smash Brothers. Hey, you Pikachu. And then we have Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Super Mario 64 with a sticker on it. Uh, WWF Warzone, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire, Banjo-Kazooie, and Army Men Sarge's Heroes. There were two of them that were purchased, and I don't remember what they were, unfortunately. Oh, two of these sold? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> well, two of those already sold. And then for Wii, we have Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort, Mystery Case Files, Malgrave Incident, Wii Fit Plus, Tasunoku vs. Capcom Ultimate All-Stars, King of Fighters Collection, The Orochi Saga, Pets Dogs 2, another Wii Sports Resort, North American Adventures, Family Game Night 2, Boogie, Cooking Mama Cook-Off, and Littlest Pet Shop. Oh, and also Pokemon Battle Revolution. And then for Xbox, we've got these. I'm not going to go through them individually because there's nothing too, too special. And then we have PlayStation 1. These are in order of cheapest to most expensive. So we're starting with Saga Frontier 2. And then we have Galerians. And Tactics Ogre. This does not have a manual, unfortunately. I'm not sure about Galerians. And then Lunar 2 Eternal Blue. This is fully complete. And then lastly, we have Suicoden 2. We get this game pretty often for being such an expensive title, but that's extremely cool to see. So those are all the trades from today. So now let's open up that package real quick. All right, guys, this is the last package. While I'm opening this, I'm going to tell you guys what we're doing, why we have to be quick. We. So, oh. yeah, we Sorry. have to be quick <laughs> because we are going to drive over into Portland tonight to pick up a rental car. Abby is going to drive to go see her parents, and there Drop just happens hook. to be something that we want to pick up, and we need a big car for it. So we're not going to tell you what it is until we actually get it. Maybe Abby will do some filming. Who knows? I'll but, try. I might be a little stressed out. So, are you leaving tonight or tomorrow? Tonight. Abby's leaving tonight, coming back tomorrow at some point, and she'll have it then. So, we'll take a look at it tomorrow. First up, we have a note. I know what this is. It says, hey, y'all, I'm a daily viewer from the Central Texas area. <laughs> You're, like, reading it in an accent. You need to stop. You're going to offend all the Texans. I was doing gonna... the accent before I started reading it, so, okay. They're going to come up from Texas I and riot. Forward, I look forward to watching the videos every afternoon. I started reselling part-time on eBay about two years ago, and because of your videos, I've learned so much about video games and prices. Thank you for that. Inside are the <laughs> we talked about. I ended up finding exactly 40. I also threw in a few more things, like the blank, since you'll be expanding that section. <laughs> also, the little the little suction cup pigs are phone stands. I can't wait to see the expansion finished. I'll be tuning in every day to see the progress. Thanks again, Justin. Blah, 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 PayPal email, all that. Okay. So. When Cooper says blah, 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 he's not saying it's not important. It's just like. It's, it's like their contact information, the amount we agreed upon, the PayPal email address. I'm not going to read that stuff up. Yeah. So, what we originally were purchasing were gash ponds. Hmm. And... Is that a sticker in there? No. It's a... 
Mickey keychain from Kingdom Hearts. Mm. So we got the new machines in and Justin had emailed us and he's like, hey, I have a bunch of Kingdom Hearts Gashapons that I bought from a store that went out of business. And I've got like 40 of them if you want them. And so we agreed on a price and I'm pretty sure that they're the same ones we have over there, but they're, there's more of them obviously. So, and they are expensive. Yeah, he gave he gave us a good price on them. Um, I'm I think he made some money on them too, which is always good. And it looks like he threw some extra stuff in here as well. So, we have a a Ready Player One like uh, drink koozie thing. Uh -uh. And then we have these are all sealed. We have Superman Returns, Ocean's Thirteen, and Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke. <laughs> And then also the Goonies, which is awesome. These are all sealed as well. Hannibal and Gone in 60 Seconds. And then these are the little suction cup pigs that he was talking about. Oh my gosh. Oh um, my God, there's a bunch of them. I'm not pulling them all out, but there's a ton of them. <laughs> and then we have, you can just fill them in the box. We have all the gash ponds. What's that, that bubble mailer? What bubble, oh. I didn't even see that. These are manuals. Some Xbox ones. 360, mostly. Yeah. Oh, oh we lock it out. That's a good one. It's like a twenty dollar game. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Justin. We we are going to. That's all that's in here. We're going to get you paid right now before we leave, and then we gotta skedat so we can do this stuff. We have to go home because since Abby has to drive the car, the rental car, we have to take both of our cars home, and then. I have to drive Abby to the thing so she can get in the rental car, and we both drive back. And then I gotta pack. And up. it's in Portland, which sucks. Luckily, it's at the airport, late. though. Oh, it's the only it's the only twenty four the only twenty four hour like place is the airport. All the other rental car places like close at six, which is stupid. So, for anyone who ever like flies into Portland and is like, "Oh, I want to go to Double Jump, but I don't know like where it is," we're right by the airport. We are. Literally we 10 are, to 15 minutes away from the airport. We are the closest video game store to the airport. Yeah. And we're just over the bridge and it's the 205 Even bridge. Even though we're in a so. different state. Yeah. So yeah, we, I mean, the the highway that's right behind the store that you guys have seen a few times, that is 205. You just go towards Portland. There's one exit before. Mm-mm. It's yeah, the, no, there's, there's oh, one yeah, exit there's before one exit. you hit the bridge. Yeah. So, like, we are the second exit into Washington. So, we're right there. And yeah. the, the airport is, like, here's Double Jump. Here's the river. Here's the airport. It's yeah. We're literally right there. So, for anyone who's traveling and is going to try to come to the store, we're super, super close. But... Like, you could, I think, to take a lift over walk. here, you could walk. It would be kind of scary on that bridge, but... You're to not take supposed a, to walk on that bridge. People ride bikes on it. Yeah, I guess. But you could like take a lift, and you the lift would no, the lift would t like be like thirteen dollars. Yeah, it's not that far at all. But with all that, guys, we gotta go. We gotta go, we gotta we gotta go, go. ahead and end this vlog here. Thanks for watching. Wait, you're not gonna show the truck? definitely. You're not gonna show the vehicle. Do you we? Are we on. gonna? Are we gonna talk about what it is? Have we talked about what it is? Were you not listening when we filmed? We're gonna. We're not gonna say what it is till we have it. Oh, okay. So, Sorry, guys. <laughs> tune into tomorrow's vlog because not only is Abby picking up something really, really cool that maybe will be at the store. We're not sure. It's for us, but... It's going to happen. But we'll figure it out. But I am also picking up the Sega CD and the Dreamcast collection tomorrow. Ooh, from the so, same guy we got the Saturn stuff from last time. You see, I kind of already told two people what I was getting. That's fine. But it was Jack. we're not saying Nathan, it in the video. So, yeah. <laughs> By the time this video goes up, you'll already have it. That's true. Because the video goes up at 1, and she's supposed to be there at between, like, 11 and 12. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, hit that notification bell. Tomorrow's vlog, you're not going to want to miss it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.